Hey babe, what are you oh. doing? Hi there. Just chopping up some wood. Aww. Getting ready for a fire tonight. Uh, you want to take them through our tow vehicle and in our sure. trailer? Specs on the outside. Yeah. As, as you can see, it's a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, high altitude model uh, with the V8. Towing capacity 7,400 pounds. Uh, handles our trailer pretty nicely with our uh, equalizer weight distribution system that we use. We upgraded uh, to a second battery to give us a little off the grid capability. And what's the uh, what's the dry weight on the trailer? Dry weight 3,700 pounds or 3,800 pounds. Right around there, but the dry weight doesn't really matter uh, when you're talking about towing. You want to think about your gross weight because uh, that's what you're going to be towing most of the time. Uh, the combination of your stuff, water, um, gear, food, beer, etc. Um, Kayaks. Uh, this this <laughs> trip, we were probably around, probably close to 5,000 pounds to begin with, um, and we've shed a few since then. Um, exercising a tad so that helps out all right so we're going to take you on a tour inside um, this is our coachman freedom express pilot it's a 19 rks and uh, right now we've got the awning out uh, which is a 16 foot awning. It's nice to be able to sit underneath and, and hang out. Um, gives us a little bit of shelter if it's raining as well. So let's go on inside. All right, so when you walk in, you walk into the kitchen and it's nice because we've got quite a bit of counter space here. Go into, and the sink is pretty big as well, uh, which is nice when we're washing dishes and, and pots. Uh, we have a decent sized fridge, um, a good sized freezer, which helps on trips like these because we can do a lot of pre-made fr frozen meals, um, and our fridge is a decent size as well. Um, we also bring a cooler with us for any of our beverages, uh, not milk, but beers, LaCroix, waters, things like that. And we do have our couch here that the dogs love sitting on. Hi, Holly. Say hi, baby. In kaiju, appropriately in front of the uh, pillow that says no humans on the couch. Um, but our couch does fold out into a bed. Um, we don't really use it in that manner very often, but it is nice to have if we want to lounge watching TV or something like that. Um, one thing that we do like about this model is we have quite a bit of storage space and cabinets. Um, so we've got Three overhead the sink, one over here that we keep a lot of our, like our dog stuff in and just things that we use outside. We have our first aid kit and we've got our um, dishes and, and things up here. Um, and then we do also have a nice size pantry, um, which is helpful for storing all of our dry food and our dog food. Um, and then we have our overhead cabinets up top um, that are used right now for storing our, our warm clothes. We do have a queen size bed, an actual standard queen, not a camper queen. Um, we still have the mattress on it that came with the camper, but we did add a mattress topper. After our first trip, we found that it just wasn't as comfortable as we had hoped. One feature that we really love about this unit is has a fireplace. Um, right now you can either have it on, uh, just on, which we have right now because it's about 67 degrees in here and it's pretty nice outside. Um, or you can change it to um, heat on low or heat on high. Um, with a 19 foot interior, it doesn't take much to heat this thing. So it's really nice uh, if we don't want to have the the actual propane heater going. Um, and if we are hooked up to electric, it doesn't run unless we're on 30 amp. Um, and we also have some overhead storage bins up here. Um, we've got some extra sheets and blankets for if it gets cold. 
This side on the left, we've got Art's storage space for his clothes. Um, I like to store my items up here in this little cubby above the fireplace um, in bins. And then I also do a little bag storage down here in this cubby um, where we've got our charging station for our phones and our, our Apple watches. Um, but I like to store everything in bins, it's in bags. It's just a lot easier. Um, and we've got another little hideaway over here where we keep our backpack with all of our tech gear like our drone and iPads and, and GoPro gear. And then we've also got this little um, laundry bag which is helpful um, to go to and from places that do have laundry on site. Um, we do have a TV but we don't really use it very often but we did install these file folder uh, hangers to keep um, power cords and remotes and, and things like that. Um, I also sewed uh, this little sleeve to keep the buckle from scratching the TV as we're traveling down the road. Um, 19 foot trailer, it's all about trying to save space and make use of all of the space. So we've got our rain jackets and our coats that we hang on the back of here. And then in this door, we've got our bathroom. Uh, where we also have, we've got a roll away bag where we keep our sunscreen and uh, face lotion and, and things like that. And then we've got our bathroom here. Um, it's not big, but it'll do. Um, a lot of command strips. We love command hooks. Um, they're very helpful for everything. Um, but in here we just have a little sink with a medicine cabinet and our toilet. And then we've got a shower. Um, it's fairly small, but it's uh, nicer than going to the shower house or if they don't have a shower house, uh, definitely helps. And we've got a skylight in here that gives us a lot of natural light. Um, and we do have a storage cabinet underneath the sink where we keep our extra towels and, and cleaning supplies and things like that. So that concludes the tour of our camper. Right, Hal? Right, Kai? What do you think? What do you think, baby? <laughs>